In this example, we're going to take a look at machining a relief to a boundary. Now, it may sound a little bit easy, but there are a few things that happen when you do machine a relief to a boundary. And I want to show you how you get around those. If I rotate that around, you can see the top of this dog's head is at the top of my material. And I want to use this square that I have here as a boundary and I've already calculated the toolpath so let's take a look at this so if I simulate the roughing toolpath you can see that looks okay simulate the finishing toolpath and you can see that that looks okay I may need to use a smaller tool to get in there or adjust the step over but I'm not really interested in that what I am interested in is the border around it or the boundary so if I were to take a plan view of that let's say and then let's zoom in and I'll just rotate around so you can see it so you can see this here this isn't really working and what's happening is that the tools use the center of the tool to go to the boundary and that creates a problem when you want to actually machine and finish the boundary so if I take a, another view from the top and I turn on my vector so I can see where this boundary is, you can see that the boundary is actually inside here. And this is overshooting it by lots. And that's because of the roughing tool. So I'll show you how you can sort this out. So I want it to machine just up to this boundary. So let's take a plan view and I'll delete simulation and let's open up the machine relief right so the first thing that I need to take a look at is where it says area to machine you've got selected vectors and I've chosen inside vector now below that there is a warning and it's telling me that for this toolpath the center of the tool will cut to the selected vector boundary and that's what's happening and I don't want that to happen I need to sort that out what we need to do is offset this square. Now the problem that I've got is that I'm using two tools that are different diameters. So what I need to do is do two machine reliefs. So let's deselect this one eighth of an inch ball nose and just leave the quarter of an inch end mill. And what I need to do is offset this. So if I select offset vectors and I want to offset this by half of the diameter so the radius which is 0.125 and I'll offset inwards and select offset now I can leave that selected because that's my boundary and then calculate it okay so that now goes up to that boundary and it should now stop at the original boundary so let's close that now and I'm going to create another machine relief. Again, this is going to be selected vectors. Select that vector again and then I'm going to choose my inch tools and let's use a sixteenth of an inch. Now what I need to do is offset this one again. So half of the 16th of an inch so go to the offset and this time it's going to be 0 3 1 2 5 and then offset so that's a much smaller offset and then I can click calculate go into that boundary so now let's just turn those off and I'll just delete these so you can see the original boundary and let's simulate both of these and you can see now it's coming to a nice edge not like before and if I turn on my vector you can see that it's coming to that vector so that's how you machine relief to a boundary like this